guys, Paul Eiffel here from the Paul Eiffel Football Academy. This is Bethany, my assistant, it's my daughter. Um, you'll hear me refer to her all the time as B, that's what we call her. Um, she's going to be doing most of the football, I'll be doing most of the coaching. We're going to have some all sorts of different videos on here, hopefully over the next four weeks while we're in lockdown. Um, there'll be some basic beginner stuff, um, which Bethany will take care of. Hopefully my elder daughter, Romy, who's nearly 14, will take care of the intermediate stuff and I'll take care of the advanced stuff. So there'll be, like I said, mini sessions, um, challenges, there'll be full sessions. Um, and if there's anything you do want to see, please comment below, send in your videos of the challenges as well, and, and when we can comment on those. So um, as you can see, we're here in, here in our backyard. You don't need too much space. Really, all you're gonna need is a football. Um, there might be times that we use cones because we, we're lucky enough to have them, but you can use stuff like uh, rolled up socks or uh, dog's toys or stuff like that. So we'll find a way to make this work with the stuff that you've got at home and obviously with limited space. So um, hopefully you look forward to the videos. We look forward to doing them. Um, tune in on a daily basis to see what we've got for you. Thanks a lot, see ya. Hi guys, this is our first video in uh, the PFA Backyard Edition. Uh, Bethany is here. She has been playing football for about six months, so she definitely is a beginner. Um, it's something that I've never really pushed on her, but she's, she's started playing recently. Um, I practice quite a, quite a bit, so we go. This is a session we're going to do. It's only going to be about a 10 minute session. Um, it's something we've done all over schools, all over uh, many schools in, in the Nelson area as well. Um, it's pretty basic, it's just to get a few touches on the ball and get used to um, manipulating it a little bit. So here we go. So Bethany, if you want to start just dribbling around, what do we remember when we're dribbling? What are the important things? And make sure you, one, don't touch any somebody. Which you won't here in lockdown. And <laughs> make sure you keep control of the ball. Keep control of the ball. Where should you be looking? You should be looking at the ball at the moment. And where else? And a little bit up. Make sure you're using all parts of your foot, so that's good, yeah. Use the sole, use the inside, use the outside. Yeah, good. Well done. Well done. Keep going. That'll stop just a little warm up. Keep going. Good, try and keep it under control. Try and keep your head up and have a look up, don't forget what you're doing. Good, well done. Well done and back in and keep the ball under control. Put your foot on it. Well done. Put your foot on it. And we're just going to go to the first thing, and we call this toe taps. So it's literally this. You're trying to keep the ball pretty still. Little taps on top of the top of the ball, like, like so. And then you're going to jog on again and stay on the move. Go on, break. Keep going. Ten of them. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And back on the jog. Back on the jog. Well done. Well done. Good. Don't forget to keep your head up. I'm going to keep coming around just in case. I'm going to see if I can bump into you. Try and step over in already. There you go, well done. Yeah, then come back in and put your foot on the ball. Put your foot on the ball. Put it under control. Okay, now we're going to do happy feet. Some, some people call these penguin feet. I call them happy feet. Same thing, try and keep your head up if you can as well when you're doing it. Yep, go on then, be 10 of them. Yep, I'm back on the jog. Well done, don't forget to use every part of your foot, be inside, outside. Sole of the foot, good. Well done. So back. And back on the jog. Good feet, well done. Happy feet. Happy feet. Ah, lost it. Get it back. Happy feet, good. Well done. Back on the jump. And toe taps. Good. I'll have a little rest. You puffing yet? Not too much. Not too bad? Okay, no problem. Okay, we're now going to go into the next bit. That would, be, that would have been our warm-up, what we've done there. Um, we go into a little game <coughs> called body parts now. So the kids seem to love this one. Um, I'll get involved as well. We'll be dribbling around. As soon as I say a body part, you will stop the ball first and put that body part on the ball. So if I shout knee, you'll stop the ball and put your knee on. What I don't want to see is what we, we get loads of kids doing this. If I shout knee, they end up trying to chase it. Impossible, you're going to hurt yourself, get yourself in a bit of trouble. So make sure you put your foot on the ball first. 
Our dog Coco wants to play. <laughs> Can hear her in the background. Bottom! How <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get back in the job? You always get me out of that one. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that first part of our session. We're just going to show you a turn. This can be turn of the day. Um, we're going to start with the drag back turn. This is uh, this is Bethany's favourite, so I'm going to let her demonstrate this one for you. So basically, for the drag back turn, so you run up and there's an opponent in front of you. So you look back and make sure that there's no one there that you can crash into, and then you just put the foot that you're not going to use here, and then put your other foot on top of the ball. And drag it back and then just go that way. Okay, so you're trying to, stay, trying to go away from your opponent? Yeah. Okay, so if we try and break that down, you've got to look over your shoulder, you step next to the ball with the foot you're not using, drag back with the other foot, and then you're away from your opponent. So if we can try and do that with a little bit of pace, B, see if we can do it now. Wow, what did she forget? She and forgot what? to look. So again, you're dribbling up, sort of look over your shoulder, step. Back the other way. Ah, got it wrong. <laughs> One more time. So you dribble in, have a little look, step, back the other way. And again, B. Very good. Okay. So if you can do that one, then it's probably um, important to try and do it with both feet if you can. This will be a little bit more difficult. But again, still dribbling. You're still having to look over your shoulder. Step with your right, back with your left. Step with your right. you're having a, tr having a little bit of trouble with that just get the just get the turn right first of all so get used to stepping with one foot and turning with the other before you do anything else once you've got that sorted have a think about having a look over your shoulder first stepping dragging then hopefully you can try and put that all together a couple of steps look step drag and you're away from your opponent go on B put that all together step drag Ah, oh, you've got to look. Look too late. Look a little bit earlier than that. Do you want to look before you perform the turn? Sorry. So, a little look. Well done. Little step. Turn. That's what we're looking for. Well done. Good stuff. So, that's our turn of the day, the drag back turn. We will uh, we will bring you another turn later in the week for our next beginner video. Um, probably the outside of the foot turn, which Bea likes as well. <laughs> okay, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the uh, turn of the day. We'll definitely do some more turns later on in the week. So, for our challenge now, we're going to go in to do some juggling, um, normal juggling, obviously.
just keeping the ball off the floor um, as much as you can. But we're going to do something a little different to start with. Obviously, it's the beginner's course. So just to, to learn, and this is how I taught Bethany to do this in the first place a few months back. All I want you to do is drop the ball and volley it back into your hands. Get used to doing that. Nice and steady. See how many of those you can do. If that is too easy for you, then start trying to do two. No problem. Again, if that's too easy for you, you can drop it onto your foot. Do two. Once you've done two, you can start moving to three. Once you're happy with that, then you can do, hopefully, many, many more. Send us in your videos. There you go. Keep going, B. Good girl. Well done. Ten. That wasn't a bad ten. Um, send in your videos. Um, we'd love to see them. Practice as much as you want. Uh, practice doesn't make perfect. It makes permanent. So if you can just keep doing this every single day, um, at some point you, you'll crack it and it will just become second nature. So um, how many is your how many is your best so far? Forty-two. She's only been doing it six months, but she comes out in the garden most days. So. Um, we've got four weeks of lockdown, so I'd like to think that most of you can get into double figures before we're out of this. Uh, hope you enjoyed today. We'll hopefully see you in the next couple of days. Cheers.